Hello, everyone. Welcome again. So today we have Mr. Shyam Kumar with us. He is a PhD scholar currently from IIT Roorkee. So welcome, Shyam. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. So we want to know a little bit about your educational background and what inspired you to pursue PhD in marketing, right? Marketing is your area. Yeah. So basically, Puneet, uh, I belong to Kerala and I, 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 I did my schooling quite in different states like uh, in Bhopal, Pune and, uh, and Indore, etc. And uh, while pursuing my schooling in APS Pune, uh, I never thought I'd be doing a PhD. Uh, I was the worst child you can imagine. And then I, I, I totally changed when I got commerce in, as my, my uh, subjects in my high secondary. And I, I fell in love with the subjects and I enjoyed learning the subjects. And then uh, I decided to go for uh, graduation in commerce. I, I took uh, BCom graduation with taxation uh, as specialization. And then, uh, well, when uh, after completing my graduation, I, I was quite sure that I need to do a PG. I, I'm very much interested in subjects. So I went for a master's program, then looking for good opportunities available. I went for uh, Banaras Hindu University's master's program. Uh, and I did my master's in commerce in Banaras Hindu University in Varanasi. And then uh, after that, I, I did uh, MBA as well from Pondicherry University. And then uh, while doing my uh, master's in BHU, I, I, I realized that I, I quite like to deal with, you know, experiment with subjects to, you know, read the subjects in detail. And when I was doing my specialization in marketing, I realized that I, I will definitely continue my studies in the subject. And then uh, that's the way I, I I decided to go for a PhD program, and then th that's the that's the way I get into PhD. Okay, okay, wonderful. So it seems like a lot of institutes and lot you know experience rich you are. <laughs> so uh, please tell me about the uh, selection process at IIT Roorkee. If somebody wants to apply, what is the process? What is the you know scorecard which the IIT Roorkee uh, you know accepts and what is the procedure like interview or only a school card basis? So please tell a little bit yeah. about it. So uh, as far as IIT Ruriki is concerned for PhD program, they need you to uh, be either a net or JRF at least uh, for applying for a PhD program. And when you when you are getting apply when you are applying for a PhD PhD program, they'll shortlist you initially based on your profile, based on your preferences. And then they'll uh, call for a personal interview. And during our time, it was to online because uh, due to the pandemic. But now uh, most of the time it's conducted offline. So every time it, the procedures may change a little bit and it varies from institute to institute as well. So in DOMES, we have a personal interview for PhD programs based on those uh, the personal interview. Uh, you know, the selection has been done. And of course, based on your shortlisting criteria as well, your academic performance and progress throughout the journey. Okay, okay. So currently, how much is the strength in uh, PhD batch? Total, how many people are there? I mean, uh, you mean the whole PhD students in Domes IIT Turkey? Uh, I mean, I per say... year, per year. What is the total? Per strength? year, oh, it, uh, maybe two two times a year they calls for an autumn semester and a, a spring semester. So, which you know, there is no definite number as such, but okay. it may vary. Maybe uh, you know something up to thirty or thirty five a year, I guess. Okay, so so uh, twice a year is it uh, across the IIT or especially with the rule key? Uh, it's with Ruriki and may, with many other IITs as well. I'm not sure about all of the IITs, but yeah, uh, few few of the IITs I know, you know, Kharagpur and Madras and all, they 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 have this sort of a you know six months criteria. Okay. A spring okay. semester as well as an autumn semester. That's the way it is done. 
okay so till now how how is your journey are you are you enjoying what are you your career aspirations and what is your learning experience in the campus and interacting with professors so we want to hear something about your experience there uh it was kind of a great experience which like uh, the the pers- my perspective towards academia as well as you know the research changed when i reached in iit because i've learned uh, the ways they have they are carrying out the 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 the, the dedication which researchers and faculties used to give for their work so that that was quite a new experience which i realized it's not just for the sake of getting a phd rather than it's you know there's it's a passion for many people out here and it's it's a great opportunity when which i got to interact with a lot of you know intellect souls out here in iit and uh, many of our alumni are working uh, throughout india in various institutions even across the country they're working in reputed institutions so it gives us a very good platform and very good opportunity to work out here in iit okay and obviously i want to follow their paths and you know my, i i i see myself as a faculty maybe in the coming future that's what i'm aspiring to okay wonderful so usually what are the available opportunities for a scholar who completes a phd let's say somebody is not going for the academics what all you know opportunities are available for them see most of the people we see in india after completing the phd go for academy but i have seen here in domes we have many people who didn't go went for an academic profession as a professor they went for uh, you know corporate jobs like one of our senior Uh, I recently met him. He's uh, a, a good person. Flipkart working with Flipkart after completing his PhD program. So they they have a great opportunity for getting into corporate industry as well, because now pe- people from corporate is also looking for you know people with PhD they need. So that way also people can work. And many of the people maybe after completing a PhD, I know a few of my friends, uh, you know. to want to start up something or maybe you know get into entrepreneurship or something like that so okay it depends okay. totally on your choice so i know people who after completing phd are not into teaching profession as well okay okay thank you so much do you want to share anything else with the viewers nothing much if anybody who aspires to do a phd should definitely do it that's okay. what i feel like okay thank you thank you so much uh, sham for giving your time thank you thank you so much thank you punit for having this and you starting with this sort of a, an idea to give others you know an uh, opportunity to learn and uh, you know listen to people who are uh, with different institutions i guess that would be, would definitely help them in their future thank you so okay. much thank you so much thank you